video is the first in the series for the Roland Phantom G workstation. This is the newest workstation from Roland. It has a lot of updated features over the Phantom X workstation, which is a great workstation as well. A couple of changes with the Phantom G is you have the ability to connect a USB mouse, and I have one connected now. You can see there's a cursor on screen. You can select different areas. You can click on different menus. Um, you can also right click. There's some options that pop up whenever you do this. Um, another handy feature of being able to connect a USB mouse is you can drag and move sections of audio in studio mode. Let's go ahead and click on studio mode and we'll go to song and press song edit F8 and from here you can see that you can grab an individual wave and move this over if you wanted to. Much like a digital audio workstation software in PC or Mac platform. So it's very uh, user intuitive how to do arrangements. You can also uh, click on tracks and drag those to other tracks and so forth. So there's lots of functionality that can be done there. Um, also obviously one of the very neat features of the Phantom G is the ability to do audio tracking, true audio tracking. Not like um, in the Phantom X where you had to trigger samples in audio tracks. This is true audio tracking where you have the ability to manipulate your samples or recorded audio just like you would in a hard disk recorder. So it's a very useful feature to be able to do that in a workstation. Now a lot of other workstations, almost every workstation has the ability to edit sounds, has the ability to arrange musical phrases to create songs, and also has the ability to sample your audio files, whether it's from another workstation or if you were recording a singer or someone playing guitar to sample in that audio. But what's different about the Phantom G is how well that it does this. There's features, there's the mouse is connected, there's lots of uh, sliders and knobs. Very user intuitive. Um, even though it's user intuitive, there's quite a bit of options and menus that are hidden and there's lots of steps that has to be done in order to perform certain functions. So this is what this video is going to cover. But again, you purchased probably one of the best workstations on the market, and it probably will be for a couple of years from Roland. Let's go ahead and proceed with some sound editing videos. <laughs> 